Welcome to CATS Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to be doing practice problem 2.12. Now, the question asks us to find V1, which is over there, V2, which is over there, I1 and I2, as well as the power dissipated in the 12 ohm and the 40 ohm resistors. So let's start off with a few formulas. From Ohm's law, we have V is equals to IR, and we have power is equals to VI. All right. So these are mainly the main formulas which you're going to use. <coughs> Excuse me. So to start with, let's simplify this this circuit. Let's simplify, and here's why we're going to simplify the circuit. We want to find V1, and V1 is the current across the 12 ohm. But if you look, if you look here, we have two nodes, that node there, and that node there, shared between the 12 ohm and the 6 ohm. Now, for resistors in parallel, which is the case for two shared nodes. For resistors in parallel, the voltage is the same. So the voltage across the six ohm as well is going to be V1. And that applies here as well. These two nodes are shared between these two resistors. And so this is also V2. So now, here's what I'm going to do to solve the problem. I'm going to add these two resistors to form one resistor, and then add these two to form one resistor, and then do voltage division to find the individual voltages. So let's continue and do that. Now we have the 12 ohms and the 6 ohm in parallel. So this is what we do, 12 ohm in parallel with 6, uh, 12 times 6 divided by 12 plus 6, which is 4 ohms. And we have 10 ohms in parallel with the 40 ohms. So we have that, 400 divided by 50, which is 8 ohms. And now let's draw the, the new circuit or the simplified circuit. This is the combination of the 12 and the 6 which is four. So here it goes, it goes here. Combination of those two. And the combination of the 10 and the 40 goes here, which is eight ohms. And you put the voltages across. So now we can apply voltage division. Since we have resistors in series, therefore we have to divide the voltages. So for a series connection, the current is the same, but the voltage is divided. So we use the formula in the textbook, which says you have the voltage source 30 and the resistor which you're interested in, which is four in this case for B1, so four, and then you divide by the resistor itself plus the other resistor, which it's in series with. And this should give you V1. And then for V2, we do the same. Voltage source, 30, multiplied by the resistor value, which we're interested in, which is eight, divided by eight, plus the other resistance, which is four. And we find our answer for V1 and V2. So V1, is equals to 30 times 4, which is 120, divided by 12, which should be 10 volts. And then here we have 30 times 8, which should give us 240. 240 divided by 12 should be 20 volts. All right. So those are the two answers which we have, or the two values which we have for V1 and V2. So we've answered the first part of the question, finding V1 and V2. Now let's move on to find I1 and I2. 
Now, if we look at this, I1 goes through the positive of V1 first. So I wrote down these formulas before, like when we started solving the problem. So let's use this formula saying V1 is equal to I3. So V1, we found V1 as, found V1 as 10. So now V1, according to this relationship of the current, the resistor and the voltage itself, V1 is equal to I1 multiplied by the resistor value, which is there, which is 12. So then we want to find I1. Let's manipulate this uh, formula here to divide by R, divide by R. So that cancels out and therefore I1 is equal to V1 divided by R. And this should simplify to the value of V1 is 10 as calculated before, divided by the resistor value there, which is 12. 12. And that is your answer for I1. Punching that into a calculator should give you 8. 33.33 milli amperes. Now moving on to find V2, sorry, I2, we do the same thing. So I2 will be equals to V2 divided by R. Now in this case, we have 40 as the resistor's value and V2 we calculated to be 20 volts. So we just substitute those in the formula as well. So we have 20 divided by a resistor value of 40 which is 0 0.5 or 500 milliamperes. So we've now done the second part of the question. Now moving on to the third part of the question. Let me just move on to this side. Third part of the question asks us to find the power dissipated in the 12 ohm resistor and in the 40 ohm resistor. So we know that the 12 ohm is associated with V1, which is 10 volts, and also associated with I1, which we found to be 833.33 many amperes, right? And we know that power is equal to VI, so we have V and I. So to find the power dissipated, by the 12 ohm, we just simply plug in the values which are associated with it. So just simply do that, the amperes, and that should give us 8.33 watts. And we do the same for the 40 ohm resistor, which is associated with V2 and I2. So V2 we calculated to be 20 volts and I2 we calculated as 500 milliamperes and so power dissipated is equal to V2 multiplied by I which we have here milliamperes and your answer should be 10 watts and that is how you solve this problem.